At an intersection of hospital hallways, a convex spherical mirror is mounted high on a wall to help people avoid collisions. The magnitude of the mirror's radius of curvature is 0.548 meters. A. Locate the image of a patient 11 meters in front of the mirror. Use the correct sign conventions. B. Indicate whether the image is upright or inverted. And C. Determine the magnification of the image. So this wants us to find Q. And it gives us the magnitude of R. So you got to remember if R is on a convex mirror, R is negative. And if it's on a concave mirror, it's positive. And so Q is also, well, so we're going we're to see what happens. So we'll start with the mirror Q equation. 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 2 over R. And we want to isolate Q because that's the term we're solving for. So 1 over Q equals 2 over R minus 1 over p. And then we want to find a common denominator, so we get 1 over q is equal to 2p over pr minus r over pr. And then we can combine the terms. 1 over q is equal to 2p minus r over pr. And we take the inverse of that, so q is equal to p times r over 2p minus r. That's going to give us the answer to the first part. Remember, r is negative. And so then in the second part, it asks you to find the, what asks to determine if the image is upright or inverted. The only way we can, we can do that is if we find the magnification. So the part c wants the magnification. We'll do that first. And so the magnification equation is negative q over p. And so we don't know, well, like we just solved for q. But if you didn't know what Q was, you could just go ahead. You can go ahead and just plug your numbers in now. Um, but remember from, from this equation, I plug in my numbers, I get negative 26.734. So that's a, that's a 6. Negative 26. And so when you get the negative of a negative, you get a positive. And a positive magnification is going to mean that your image is upright. Now, you can also substitute this term in right here. And if you do that and solve for magnification, you get magnification is equal to negative r over 2p minus r. And so if you're good at algebra, I challenge you to solve, uh, to simplify down to this expression using this substitution. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the about section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.